loves, how are you? For those who don't know me, I'm Anna, a nutritionist with a postgrad degree in aesthetic weight loss, and I've been a raw and living cuisine chef for over 10 years. And in today's video, I'm going to explain a little bit about the differences between frugivorism, raw foodism, living food, and fruitarianism. Starting with fruitarianism, which many people confuse with fruit. When a person hears the word frugivorism, they already imagine that it's only fruits, which is not true. Fruitarianism would be only the exclusive consumption of fruits, which, by the way, there are many people who have been fruitarians for a long time. However, I am not a fruitarian. Raw foodism is based on... The raw food diet is founded on the 80-10-10 diet principle, indicating that it consists of 80% carbohydrates, 10% fats, and 10% proteins. Carbohydrates primarily come from raw fruits, vegetables, and vegetables. 10% of fats come from oily fruits with coconut and avocado and some nuts. And 10% of proteins come from these food groups. Because what many people don't know is that fruits, vegetables, vegetables, nuts, all have protein. In chloroborism, it can have the same proportion 80, 10, 10. However, we will add new food groups such as, for example, legumes, grains, seeds with chickpeas, lentils, peas, chia, flaxseed, pumpkin seed, etc. And legumes consumed in the form of germination, that is, sprouted, the seeds can be consumed both raw, hydrated, some sprouted as well, fruits, raw vegetables and legumes, or frozen or dehydrated, and still a part of fermented, be it vegetables, fruits, and some exceptions, such as olive oil, coconut oil, which despite being raw, cold-pressed, are refined, which is to be avoided. So, it depends on the person who is following the diet, at least I don't consume. And there is also the issue of cocoa, which is sold roasted, but some carnivores utilize it. But I don't use it, I use raw, because there are brands that sell raw or germinated cocoa, in this case, I use some germinated ones, some germinated levels, and cocoa powder with cream. Living food is like raw foodism, but with more sprouts, almost the foundation of the diet, sprouts and shoots play a significant role in this type of food. There is also a significant amount of live juices made with these sprouts and a small amount of raw or warmed fruits, vegetables, and legumes. And the use of frozen food is not allowed, that is, only fresh food at room temperature. Oh, but what does it serve? You are raw, you are raw, you are from the living food. Guys, I'm not radical enough to just stick to one. There are times when I focus more on raw food, more on raw, more on fruit. Now, for instance, buying organic fruits from iPute makes me more fragile, am I correct? Utilizing that as fruit spoils faster, right? Some portion frozen, around 5 kilo of japa already in fridge, in addition to these three japas here which are not visible. So I'm going to be more frigid during this time, but there are periods when I make more sprouts, make more fermented foods anyway. If you have any questions, leave them here in the comments and I'll be happy to answer, okay? And if you still don't follow the channel, follow me, like comment on this video with your question and follow me on my other social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, where I post several, that I post my day-to-day -day really cool recipes, okay? So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Kiss.